So today is my mom's birthday celebratory day. So we're hanging out and I'm not gonna be home until tomorrow. So I did my best and I have cooked my first meal. I'm gonna take that on the road, oatmeal and eggs. And then I've also packed all my meals in here. This is my first time having to really be on the go. We'll see how it goes. Just hammered back some eggs in the car. Gonna have some oatmeal. Cruising. So far, so good. Just at the mall at the food court and going to have my next meal that I packed myself. And my mom and sister are getting something. Just waiting at the spa. My mom is getting a massage, and I'm here with my sister. We just got some chocolates. We got some teas. We found a really cool chocolate place. And let's show us what you got. Whoa. And some macaroons too. They taste amazing. And she offered me some, and I said no because goals. My mom just dropped me off to go to my first posing class. So I noticed there is a gym near the place where I'm getting my classes done. So I decided to do a quick sesh of cardio because I have to do three this week and I'm already planning ahead because Friday I am going to visit my grandma. So just finished 30 minutes and then we're gonna go to posing. On my way to posing class and I'm excited because my best friend Cam has driven all the way out here to come watch and support and take some videos because it's something I'm gonna have to keep practicing and good to have some recordings up. So excited for that. And I got all my food packed in my bag for the day. So I'm staying on track. Just chilling after posing class. Got my next meal on my way home. Super thankful to my best bud for giving me a ride home from my class because it's not close by. Uh, she's just grabbing some cat food and then uh, just gonna go home and have a chill Sunday. Pretty excited about it. How's Topo doing? I'm like, yeah, we never brought him back because you suck. This is Kim, my best friend. Hi! So, how do they my YouTube channel? Oh, hi, YouTube channel. Tell them what you think of posing. Your posing class? Oh. She's a fucking, like, what do you call it? A natural. Mm -hmm. A natural. But what do you think of like all the little poses and stuff you gotta do? Well, the ones that you were doing were fine, but if, like the bikini ones I didn't love. Yeah. Come on. Not our stuff. We can do better. <laughs> I just got some amazing freshly baked Christmas treats. So what am I gonna do with them? I'm gonna give them away. I don't got that kind of willpower to keep it in my desk for three months. Probably shouldn't do that anyways. So it's going to a co-worker. So I'm doing more cardio right now, just on my lunch break at work. Um, it's a beautiful day. December's killing it in Vancouver for sure. Um, just had a little thought about my experience at my first posing class. Um, now I understand why my coach is making me eat so much. There was this girl in my class and she was stacked. Like, her shoulders run real. I need to get a lot bigger than I am. I'm determined, I'm determined to get some, some more size, specifically in my upper body. Mainly only really in my upper body, so. I hope that happens. Also, just a side note, um, a lot of women are fearful of getting like really bulky and huge by lifting weights. And it does not just happen because you lift weights. Like you have to work so hard as a female to put muscle on if it's not like genetically just like natural for you to do that. Even if you don't really like that look on a female, you still give them a high five or like a handshake or a pat on the back. Or just I mean that just metaphorically don't actually go touch them but I mean that is a lot of work so don't be afraid to lift weights 
And if you see some super muscular, jacked female, give her a round of applause. She's been working at that for a while. Just for some reason, I have such major anxiety right now. I've had it for most of the day, and I don't want to be one of those people that's like, oh, I have anxiety, but I do get super anxious for no good reason, and it's really weird and annoying, and I know there's nothing like going on in my life. Everything's good. Just headed to the gym, gonna work out. I'm nervous about the competition, and it's so far away, but I do think that seeing some actual veteran competitors the other day at the posing class has really psyched me out. Like, I'm freaked out. I think I might not be ready. I'm not gonna be big enough, which is just generally the main theme constantly. But I just have to keep doing that positive self talk and trusting the process. But I'm freaking out! <laughs> So I've never been much of a cook. When I used to live alone and a single, I literally used one dish, one bowl, and ate the same thing every single day just because I'm not into cooking at all and um, I'm pretty boring. So actually meal prep is turning out to be really suitable for me because I just went to the grocery store after the gym and I only need to buy like six things because I'm literally only eating six different things each day. and. So it's pretty straightforward. It's my routine now. I come home, I unpack my containers from the, the work day and wash them and then just start making food for the next day. So right now I have some stuff already prepped and ready to go for tomorrow. I portion everything out as soon as I get home and then I start cooking up the fish. And yeah, and then once that's done, I wash a million dishes and then I start all over again. It's so weird, but for the last few days, I've had such crazy anxiety. Like just feeling so nervous. I feel like my show is tomorrow and I need to be ready now. And I just have all these feelings of like, I could be doing more. I should be working harder right now. It's just, I have all this pressure on myself. I don't know what's going on or why I feel this way, but I think it also has to do with the fact that the last couple weekends I've had to really plan and pack my food and I just really want to do everything perfectly because obviously that's my personality and uh, it's really hard to go with the flow for me. Anyways, keep trying to just tell myself that I'm acting crazy and I need to relax but I'm hoping that a little cardio session on my lunch is gonna calm my nerves a bit, so I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm on my way to the gym a lot later than usual because I worked two hours late today at my job to make up for a couple hours I have to leave early this Friday to go to my grandma's house with my family. So I'm kind of heading into rush hour at the gym, which I usually try to avoid by going into work early. So we'll see how that goes. And I just had a thought, you know, sometimes people get the wrong idea because I talk so much about fitness all the time and I don't know, just I talk about it so much and sometimes I feel like people might think that I'm pushing it on them but honestly the reason I talk about fitness so much and post about it and go to the gym is because I just love it just as much as somebody who loves painting or somebody who loves singing creating music reading a book writing a book it's just my passion so I don't know, I just wanted to put that out there. That it's okay if you're not into it like I am, but we can share um, the feeling of being passionate about something. And you know, I do a lot of times consider my body to be my evidence of work. And you know, just as much as if some, someone wrote a book and they'd want you to read it. That's how I, can, that's how I look at my the body and the developments that I make and the, the work and the effort and the changes that happen. 
so <laughs> that's that. Because I only have to do cardio three times a week, that means two times a week on my lunch break, I get to do lunch break things like run errands and do some last minute Christmas shopping. Working in an office, there's been a lot of like Christmas treats, holiday treats, and there's just so many opportunities to have some junk food or a treat. But what it really has shown me is that every small decision that you make, every little decision every single day that is not in alignment with your goals, is basically taking one step backwards. And generally, if I wasn't in contest prep, I would totally just have a piece of chocolate. But being in this mind frame of thinking, okay, I've eaten like white fish and green beans and you know, all that stuff, packed my meals for 14 days straight. Why would I take a step backwards today? And you know, kind of sabotage what I'm doing. And I don't know, it's just an interesting mind frame to have when you really just think about food in that way and your health in that way and eating healthy that every small healthy decision you make will add up to reaching your goal whereas every little unhealthy thing you do you're moving just a step backwards further away
so I got to leave work early today because now I'm on my way to visit my grandparents with my family and I have my Christmas gifts and also my bag of food for the road trip. It's about a five hour drive in the car. So I only have enough meals packed until we get there and then I'm just gonna have to do my best when I'm at my grandma's to stay on track. So. Ah. I am officially at my grandma's house and it's officially the end of week two. So I just wanted to wrap up this vlog and say that I was able to make it the whole way here with all my packed meals and tomorrow I'm just going to have to see what my grandma has at her house. But everyone's super supportive so we will figure it out and make it work and I'm really tired and I get to camp out with all my nephews in the basement of my grandma's house, which will be fun. Tomorrow we start week three and I get to have a check-in with my coach as well um, on Tuesday, so I'm excited to see what he has to say about my progress. So, good night.